Hello everybody, it's Ohami Pro here. Welcome to another Hearts of Iron 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you properly use your navies. Now, some people overlook this, but if you use it properly, it can have a really good effect. So first of all, we have to make sure we have actual uh, navy ships. So my game, I'm not, I don't have that good of a navy at all. I just have convoy, battleship, and submarine. Very basic. And um, basically, a, a convoy is, uh, you start with it usually. It just is automatically does its thing while you're trading. But battleships and submarines, if you don't really tell them specifically to do stuff, obviously they won't do it. I know, that was really hard to grasp, that uh, concept. All right, so if we want to change what it does, we have to find the naval base that they're anchored at. So we click on that, and we see... Uh, we see, in this case, two submarines are part of separate fleets. It's just kind of like, I know it's awkward, but like in my game, I have like low manpower and I'm not really paying that much attention, but you should pay attention. I'm just a bad example. So what you can do is you can have it patrol around the region. For an example, this is like the size of a region. So like, you know, this would be a region and stuff like that. They're much bigger in the ocean, obviously, than they are on land. So, we can have it patrol, it means it'll go around just looking for stuff, it'll help you spot ships, but they won't necessarily do anything unless if you take fire at will. I'd only recommend doing that, like, if, honestly, like, you need to have fire at will, there's no reason not to. If there is, please come, because I don't know why. Search and destroy. Um, It'll basically, it's like patrol, except they'll actively look for them. Whereas in patrol, they'll kind of just go around a selected area. This will still go around a selected area, but it'll go where it thinks the ships are. Whereas in this, it'll just kind of, you know, cruise around in patrol. So we, search and destroy is really good if you're at war, because it really keeps keeps troop carriers from coming. It keeps keeps everything, even aircraft carriers. Convoy rating. It's more of a long-term strategy, a long-term effect on your opponent, but like we said how convoys kind of do their thing automatically depending on who you're trading with, we basically do that to deprive the enemy of resources that they need. So I could like do uh, convoys around British Raj and then keep them from going to the US or to Britain, which would obviously have a very bad impact on them except I mean now they have allies around them and stuff like that but early in the game it would have been would have been good although like I said don't expect for it to like instantly make your enemy weaker because they probably still have their troops trained they just can't make more so be aware of that and you, you know just because like you have a submarine doesn't mean it's undefeatable like if you if your convoy that you're raiding is guarded, then you might get killed because it has a battleship with it. Now, uh, convoy escort, like I kind of mentioned, they protect the convoy um, from, from convoy raids. So it's it's okay if you have like excess navy ships and stuff, and if you have a dangerous route, you should probably do it. However, um, like let's say I was training with. America, and I know America's in the Allies and I'm in the Axis, but let's say America's neutral. It'd be kind of tricky for me to uh, trade with them because we can see all these Allied countries here. Inevitably, they'll have uh, naval patrols around there and high probability of me getting killed. But if it's protected, then, you know, not only do I kill their ships that try to kill me, but they uh they can't deprive me of resources and hold i don't it always does that automatically it's really irritating but they basically just stay there for further use so i guess if you just kind of want to ignore the navy thing you could just do that i don't know why you'd make ships then but you know so let's say i wanted to have them search and destroy uh i already did this in my uh playthrough but let's say we do central mediterranean Right click, not left click. It's so irritating when I like. 
I, I always like left click instead of right click. Like that, see? But I don't want to actually do that. Because now this ship, which is kind of like... Not just... Shit. Okay, you know what? I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, you know where to put them. Peace.